The Gaia Foundation works at conserving and managing areas and parks of ecological importance in the islands of Malta and Gozo that form part of Europe's Natura 2000 network. Despite its size, this archipelago boasts a relatively high number of plants that are endemic, having taken a different evolutionary path from their cousins on mainland Europe and Africa. The dense population, however, takes its toll on nature, hence the importance in managing the most important ecological sites in order to strike a balance between nature and human activities. In addition to the nature content, the coastline that features most of the Natura 2000 sites is also strikingly beautiful, with breathtaking geological formations of rocks that have all been formed underwater through sedimentation of coral. Since we have started the Gaia Foundation project, we have been managing some areas around the Maltese Islands, reminding how important it is to preserve the environment. Ain Tafiha in Malta and Romla Bay in Gozo are two of those spots that we are taking care of by doing its management all year long. It's due to the habitats and species that they host, and also for the high value of land spaces of these areas that we work so hard and so passionately to keep them natural and in balance. Ain Tafiha became a special area of conservation within the Natura 2000 network in 2003 reinforcing the need to protect this piece of land. The conservation and restoration of this ecosystem is done by the removal of species that are alien to this environment, that have been introduced in this area and, as they don't belong to it, they become invasive and therefore damage all the vegetation around. The acacia tree is one of those invasive species that we are removing and replacing with endemic and indigenous vegetation in order to balance the nature of this place. Ramla Bay, situated in Gozo, is a very special and important landscape because it hosts the largest sand dune formation in the Maltese Islands that are around 200 years old, carrying with them a very special fauna and flora. In similarity with the task developed in Ain Tufiha, here it is also necessary to move alien species like the Arundo Donax or the giant reed, being replaced by a species typical of sand dune areas like the sea daffodil. With our effort and love, these areas will be protected and safeguarded to maintain the balance once created by nature. The Gaia Foundation, which takes its name from Mother Earth in ancient Greek culture, focuses on managing some of the Natura 2000 network's most important sites, including the areas of Ain Tufiha, Ramla Bay in Gozo. It also co-manages the Maestro Park. Natura 2000 is Europe's network for the conservation of biodiversity of habitats, fauna and flora. It aims to guarantee the long-term survival of the most threatened species and habitats in the region. It also seeks to identify, maintain and reconstruct the important natural areas and connecting corridors between them. Biodiversity, coined from the words biological and diversity, refers to the variation or differences within the biological and living world, which we call the biosphere used to describe the number, variety and variability of living organisms on Earth. Within the Natura 2000 network, there are two types of protected areas. The Special Protection Areas, or SPAs, that focus on the protection of important areas that are host bird communities. The Special Areas of Conservation, or SACs, that seek to protect nature sites of community interest due to the fauna and flora that they host and their rich 
habitats. Natura 2000 also promotes a more ecological, sustainable economy by regulating managed activities through integrated management plans, with a view to achieving harmonious coexistence between humans and nature. It is by promoting a good and sustainable way of living that we, Gaia Foundation, try to spread the word for a better world. The education and awareness for a clean air and soil has become one of our top priorities in the project, showing to everybody how it is possible to construct a life based on organic farming and sustainability. This effort of maintaining and cleaning the areas where we work in has given us the pride of receiving the Blue Flag Award for the beaches of Ain Tufiha in Malta and Ramla Bay in Gozo for the years of 2012 and 2013. The Blue Flag Award is a voluntary eco-label that awards beaches all over the world. This award works towards the sustainable development of beaches and marinas through strict criteria like ensure the water quality and the safety, the education and information given to the users of the beaches, the environmental management of the areas and the management of other services related to the spaces in question. It is due to our effort to manage these pieces of land, taking care of all that surrounds them and making sure that the bays are always monitored, that we always try to promote a better way to live in harmony with nature. The nerve centre of our conservation project is our Elysium Tree Nursery, situated at Ain Tofiha. This was set up in 1999 in a disused water treatment plant in order to propagate trees, shrubs and grasses that are native to the Maltese Islands. We have gained considerable experience in the propagation and cultivation of several rare and threatened plant species. Some of these are endemic, that is, they originate from the Maltese Islands. This nursery provides native plant material mainly for habitat restoration projects across the Maltese Islands, but it also makes plants available for private gardens and parks. Gaia runs an agriculture project that promotes organic olive production. It has 350 olive trees under cultivation, which produce a fine example of Maltese olive oil. The climate and alkaline soils make the Maltese islands one of the best regions for olive production, which dates back to the ancient Roman period. Gaia assists farmers in designing their olive groves, ensuring good pollination, and advising on the best varieties and most appropriate ones for the local climate, as well as on methods of organic cultivation, pruning and harvesting. Olive oil is known to be one of the healthiest foods on the planet. around Ain Tufia is a land of peace and tranquility, with its outstanding coastline, sensational landscape and peaceful growth. This inspired us, Gaia Foundation, to create a space as a tribute to the people who try so hard to make a better world. The trees were planted in 2003 on abandoned land near the tower. These include the olive tree, long considered a symbol of peace. 
pine, lantisk, and the sandaric gum tree, which is a very rare variety of juniper, described by the Roman historian Pliny as the pearl of the forests. The grove is dedicated to people who work assiduously to build a world built upon human rights, social and environmental justice, democracy, equality and peace. It has a number of information panels about many great social and political readers who have given their lives for such causes. The Peace Grove is a celebration of their great legacies that we live inside us. The Maltese islands have a history of invasions and incursions by pirates that roamed the Mediterranean Sea. In order to better defend them, the Order of the Knights of St John built a network of watchtowers to act as an early warning for any hostile landings. The tower at Antifia is a part of that network, built in 1637 under the patronage of Grand Master Lascaris. The tower was restored in different phases under Guy's management with the assistance of the Restoration Unit and is now open to the public. It includes an internal staircase that allows access to the roof with its outstanding panoramic views of Eintofia. The tower has a number of information panels covering the history and construction of the coastal towers. The world is built around a web of life, all interconnected. It can be a better place through increased awareness, responsibility and action. We try to encourage all three through campaigns and activities organised in the areas under our management, in a spirit of fun, friendship and learning. We organise guided visits to our Elysium Environment Centre and Tree Nursery. We promote organic products and organise olive oil tasting, workshops and presentations on Gaia's work, the Natura 2000 network and environmental issues. We also organise fundraising events to help us cover some of our costs. We carry out educational activities on marine life in collaboration with Shark Lab. Shark Lab is another non-profit organisation dedicated to raising awareness of and protecting sharks, skates rays and chimaras around the Maltese Islands. Gaia supports such marine work by making its boat available to Shark Lab. We also interact with the public through the local and social media. The Gaia Foundation teamwork is on the name of the game. Although we are quite small as an organisation, our group of dedicated staff are regularly joined by a team of keen volunteers and interns from across Europe for periods ranging from a few weeks to several months. The tasks that volunteers carry out are varied and sometimes depend on their individual skills and experience, but also depend on their preferences, being tasks that fit with the particular needs of the Foundation. Many of our volunteers come through one of the European Youth in Action programmes, while others come directly in search of a warm and eco-friendly environment to which they can contribute. If you would like to consider joining our volunteer force, check out our website for details at www.projectgaia.org. We are sure that you will find it a very memorable experience like so many volunteers who have come over the years. 